Welcome to another episode where we dive into the nitty-gritty of what's happening in the world of finance, economics, and consumer advocacy. Today, we're tackling a topic that affects millions of Americans, those pesky junk fees that seem to be lurking around every corner. You know the ones those extra charges attach to just about everything, from airline baggage fees to late credit card payments. If you've ever bought a ticket online only to discover a bunch of extra costs just as you're about to check out, you've experienced these junk fees. It seems President Joe Biden's administration is targeting them, aiming to eradicate the burden on consumers. But will it really save you money? Let's dive into this complex issue. President Biden's administration has been vocal about targeting fees that weaken market competition and hit the most vulnerable Americans the hardest. Whether it's family seating on airlines or overdraft charges on checking accounts, the White House is taking accounts. The White House is taking aim. The goal, to make comparison shopping more straightforward, preventing Americans from overpaying. However, not everyone agrees that these efforts will translate into significant savings for consumers. According to some experts, even if some fees disappear, others may pop up or get blended into overall pricing. Think of it like a game of whack-a-mole. When one fee goes down, another comes up. Take hotel resort fees, for instance. Right now, a hotel may break out a $50 resort fee on top of a $150 room charge. If the fee is blended into a flat rate, that lack of transparency could lead to hidden increases down the road. Some economists argue that the opaqueness of blending all these fees together makes it much easier to raise any or all of those fees over time. This ever-shifting fee landscape is also evident in atom charges. While overdraft fees may have dipped, the average atom transaction cost has risen. Bank rate study illustrates that when one fee falls, another can quickly rise to take its place. But what about the efforts by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, CFPB, and other agencies? The CFPB has proposed, among other things, lowering the cap on credit card late fees by up to 80%. Although aimed at helping low-income consumers, some economists believe this could lead to higher interest rates. The fear is that such caps might not cover issuers' collection costs, leading them to offset these costs by hiking interest rates for those with low credit scores. However, there's also the prospect of more transparency. Last month's agreement by ticketing giants like Live Nation, Ticketmaster, and SeatGeek to publish all-in ticket prices is seen as a significant consumer victory. But more disclosure won't necessarily translate into more savings. As consumers, our most potent tool might be to vote with our wallets. But in markets with limited choices, such as airlines or concert tickets, that's easier said than done. So what's the real takeaway here? The Biden administration's focus on junk fees is certainly commendable. It shows an understanding of the financial burdens many Americans face. However, the path to eliminating these fees or even reducing their impact might not be straightforward. In the complex web of modern commerce, fees might be more resilient than we think. Efforts to lower one taj might lead to the emergence of others. While transparency and regulation may improve the landscape to some degree, it's worth approaching this issue with cautious optimism. After all, if the fees are like a game of whack-a-mole, it's going to take more than a mallet to win the game. Thanks for tuning in, and as always, feel free to share your thoughts on this topic in the comments section below. If you found this information valuable, give us a like and subscribe to stay updated on the latest financial news. See you in the next episode.